Hello and welcome back to another end of weather video. Today we are going to be continuing our coverage on Winter Storm Nathaniel as well as talking about the next two winter systems, both of which could have major impacts and we already have a huge mess of winter alerts in the west for one of these systems. So we're going to be talking about both those systems today at the very end of this video and if you live in the northeast you want to stick around for the end of this video. But if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. Now let's get right on into it. I am on the National Weather Service page. Right now we are tracking Winter Storm Nathaniel, which is what these winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings are from areas of Nebraska into areas of Connecticut. So this storm system will be moving through today and tomorrow mostly in the northeast we gotta start shifting our attention to the northeast the western part of the system is going to start to shift toward the east now and the major parts of this system which was that central plains area the northern plains central plains and great lakes will be done throughout the day today now we're probably going to start to see some more winter storm warnings go into effect in the northeast just based on the fact that most of these heavier snowfall totals will be occurring during your evening rush today. So we're going to take that hour by hour with our NAM 12 kilometer model. We also have this western storm system which we're going to be talking about in our more long range models. So here's the NAM. We're going to be using this for Nathaniel. So let's start off here with Let's actually go here. So, here is the storm system that we're talking about. So, it starts to move to the east. Let's just track this low pressure real quick. Low pressure tracks the east. Snow on the north and west sides. Rain and freezing rains on the south and east sides. So, those south and east sides push to the south of the northeast. The western side kind of starts to diminish a little bit. The area that is was primed for that section of the storm is mostly done at that point so this is oh. yeah so this is at about 7 a.m. Eastern then you have 6 a.m. Central now moving throughout the day you can see that the snow pulls out of the central part of the country and then we get some heavy snow in parts of the Northeast. So areas such as New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, even into Rhode Island. When you start with this system, it's going to start heavy and then get lighter. Usually you have, it starts lighter, gets heavier, and then gets lighter again. This thing is going to start with a bang in the Northeast. Now this is about 3 o'clock. So, moving throughout rush hour now, this is about 6 o'clock. So, you can see that areas such as New York, uh, areas of northern New Jersey, Connecticut, Rhode Island, most of upstate New York, all in the bulk of the snow at the moment. Some snow showers still lingering in Michigan, but this continues throughout the rest of rush hour even stretching into the Boston metro area by the end of it now this little pressure moves out to sea and here's what really interests me with this storm there is going to be a second storm here this is the southern slider system and in there it is the NAM is showing some excess moisture from Nathaniel getting pulled back in by the southern slider adding some snow to some of these areas and in the case of parts of new england that could be moderate to heavy snow once again even though this system the southern slider is going to be mostly rain it's going to have some impacts on the northeast but more importantly it's so strong that it's going to pull in very cold air and now we have our cross-country snowstorm this will be dumping snow in california as well as dumping rain up to seven inches of rain 
and 100 inches of snow possible in California. Now, from here, this is where things kind of have to go into the long range models. Let's go here. So, at 84 hours, we kind of see a diverge in these models. In this cross country snowstorm, the GFS has this taking a while to organize. You can see 998 millibars, that's generally pretty strong for the central part of the country, but there's no moisture with it. Then it starts to pull up moisture, very heavy snowfall out in front, a thick layer of freezing rain. That moves into the northeast, pretty much all snow at this point. Low pressure is still to the west in Ohio, so you get that heavy snow in areas such as D.C., Baltimore, Philly, New York, even into Boston. And Boston and most of southern New England will be seeing this kind of revival here where you see that the low pressure kind of jogs out to the east and you get some heavier snowfall into southern New England. And that's when we really start to see that nor'easter form. Very heavy snow right along the coastline. And that moves up. Another low pressure forms. Enhances some of that snowfall. And that all moves out. Now once we get out here. I think this is a little bit too far out to really call. But we'll talk about that when that happens. European model here. So let's take a look at that at 84 hours. So cross country snowstorm. It has this low pressure coming out of the Rockies, already pulling up some Gulf moisture. That moves into the plains where that rain snow line is much further south. And some very heavy snowfall again in Iowa, parts of Missouri, Illinois, areas that are have been seeing heavy snowfall a lot. There's already like a foot of snow in Iowa, give or take a few inches. Then you get Nathaniel on top of it, which could bring another foot. Then you have this storm, which could bring even more heavy snow. So, Iowa not having the best time in terms of digging out of that snowfall. Now, this low pressure kind of lingers here, and it kind of weakens. But, the European model has this low pressure forming. This one is key. You kind of get this tulip, or like flower shape. This is what we saw with Winter Storm Avery a couple years ago, where you have this low pressure far to the south, you have cold air in place, usually that low pressure will come out into the country, the front side will bring in some very heavy snow, then the low pressure shifts. You can see very heavy snow in here, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, then that heavy snow kind of starts to disintegrate a little bit. Um, once you get into New York, Boston, metros. But then you kind of see a revival when this thing starts to strengthen. But now you come into the major problem with this storm system, which is going to be that rain snow line. And that's where you might see some melting on the I-95 corridor during the, the storm. But on the back end, you do get some more cold. So, let's actually take a look at some snow totals from the GFS. And the European model. So let's take total accumulated snowfall from the GFS. And let's wait, wait for that to load in. And then, boom. So areas across the northeast. You can see Philadelphia probably 4 inches. New York probably 5 or 6 inches. Boston probably getting the most 23 inches. 19 to 23 DC probably getting 6 inches, Baltimore probably getting 6 inches, so very heavy snow snowfall totals, especially in southern New England, getting probably the most. Now with the European model, this is snow depth, so it'll take into account some melting. So here you can see that DC, you're probably going to get like 3 inches, Philly probably gets 5 or 6, New York probably gets 4 to 6. Boston is now left out because they switch over earlier to that rain and you only get two inches. And the target for this storm 
per the European model, would be central Pennsylvania, areas such as Binghamton, Scranton, areas that got hammered by Winter Storm Gale. So, we're seeing this trend that areas that are getting hit hard continue to take punches to the gut. So, what do you think is going to happen with this next three storms, Nathaniel, as well as the Southern Slider, and this possible Nor'easter at the end of this week? Comment in the comment section down below, but that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.